So um, in your Zaxa dashboard, when you sign up first, you want to first set up your profile, um, go to account settings, payment integration, and autoresponder integration. You want to set up these things first. Zaxa has just rolled out, I think at the beginning of the year, their own email system, which is a lot like Infusionsoft. Um, but you can get the same kind of features and uh, capabilities from Zaxa as Infusionsoft for about mm, a sixth of the price <laughs> I was just checking. So Zaxa is, um, I actually haven't started using the email system yet, the Beats mail system, because I've got a lot of stuff set up on Aweber already. Uh, but eventually I want to move over and start using the Zaxa email system. Alright, so basically to set up your own product, you go to the products tab, go to the add one, and new front end. Uh, I can add new free products because I'm the paying the monthly uh, subscription. Um, free members can't choose this option, they can't set up free products, but you can set up front ends and OTOs. So let's just go with set up a new free a new front end product. This is your main page, your general settings one. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six different tabs uh, for your product settings. Every time I come and set up a new product, I just start at the top here and work my way down. It's it's really straightforward. Uh, you don't have to have a uh, degree in computer science to uh, be able to do this. Uh, it's very basic. They have little, uh, I forget what these are called, they have little pop out. So hover over these question marks, or click on the question mark and you know, you'll get extra information if you don't know what it's talking about. So. Um, just for an example, this example's sake, I want to set up just a quick old product. Um, this is one I've had on my computer for a while. It's just a Forex trading PLR product. And I'm sure you've got dozens and dozens of PLR products sitting on your computer. So if you want to set them up uh, and start selling them, this is the easiest and fastest way to do it. Okay, so uh, let's just call this Forex Trading How To or yeah, that'll do. And oops, just make it uh, the same. A course on Forex Trading. Something like that. Okay, it's a digital product uh, looks like you can do physical products as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, but um, I only sell digital products at the moment. Uh, you can have product bullets which appear on the order page, but we'll just do the bare minimum that we have, have to do to get the product uh, ready to sell. So the product image upload an image from your computer. If you've got an ebook cover that you get with your PLR, you can drag it and it will upload up here. So that's what it will look like. Uh, select your payment processor, payment, PayPal Adaptive. That, that uh, option is for every level of membership with Zaxa. Um, then you choose your price, let's just say $10, yep, put in your support email, you don't have to put both actually, one or the other will work, uh, then choose your category, so there's no finance section, so that'll do, hide from your storefront. This is another cool feature with Zaxa. They give you a, a web page that lists all of your products. Um, this is my storefront here. 
justerling.saxa.com so that's another cool option allow refund yeah use VAT if you want to collect VAT you can block countries show coupon form the power of coupons is just amazing um, this is another awesome feature I know a lot of other platforms let you do uh, coupons but you know it's it's always good to have uh, you can do a product launch we don't you won't worry about that we just want it all nice and simple uh, we can limit the quantity we can have a dime sale add to an autoresponder so yeah you've got these three to choose from so looks like you can put any kind of autoresponder code in here which is nice um, I've hooked mine up with Aweber uh, and you can also do Zaxa as well if you're paying for the ultimate automation if you got go to webinar you can add it here um, a whole bunch of other little features here you can add in your um, uh, tracking scripts and membership integration if you've got a membership plugin all right so that's the general settings done what we want to do next we'll skip affiliate program we won't worry about that right now what we want to do is set the page set the sales pages and the thank you pages up and uh, we want to use a hosted sales page okay this is if you don't have your own website if you don't have a hosting and domain name you can use their website so back to the PLR product, we got a we got a sales letter with it. Okay, and in the sales letter we've got the sales page and a thank you page. So what we can do is basically copy this page, uh, copy this text. It's not going to look wonderful. Let's um, cancel all that stuff out. Let's just make it basic. Um, so yeah, just copy all of the text from your sales letter. Pretty it up a bit, make sure it's not too bad. Um, you can't copy just images but if you want to upload an image click on this button and if you need hosting for your free images you can use a site like photo bucket um, or if, if you already have your images uploaded somewhere just get the URL paste it in there but I won't worry about images too much okay let's try and make a box for the guarantee uh, let's see if it will let me make a table oh here we go insert or edit table we just want one and one insert that and copy now okay and uh, let's let's uh, make the background color a different color something like that here we go yeah, it's not going to look really, really pretty, but it's good enough for this example. Uh, you can fiddle around with it when you have more time on your own. Put in the uh, signature at the end. Just put your name, whatever it is. Okay. And uh, we're not finished yet because we have to go back, uh, come back here, and we have to put the order button in, which I'll put in here. Okay, and now let's do the thank you page real quick. So click on yes to use their hosted thank you page. Uh, here's where you can put the thank you page content. Um, this can really just be very simple. Uh, we won't spend much time with it. Okay, just a headline like that. Thank you for your decision. Um, thanks. Something just like that. Some of that. 
and then then there's a link to your front star as well the spelling is wrong um, and to use a download you can use their hosting to download your product so if you've got the actual product here okay there's the PLR um, what you'd want to do if you're using PLR you'd want to go and edit the word doc or the whatever you've got the source document um, put your name on it put your branding on it uh, change any of the old links into new links that work uh, any new information uh, any links to products that you want to promote inside the ebook then save it into a PDF uh, this usually in a, P in a PLR product you get a PDF that's kind of um, just the basic version or the original author's version of it uh, so it's not recommended to just go and sell the PDF as it is you want to go and edit your own and uh, create your own version of it first before you sell it um, but for this I'm just going to upload this okay it's not letting me drag and drop I can I can drag it on there that's good let's drag that and this is the uh, trading ebook yeah this is for all of the prices there we go, can just drag and drop to there. Alright, so that's uploaded. Awesome. Um, then if I wanted to have um, banners to other products that I'm selling or an affiliate program that I'm promoting, I can add my banner and link here as well. So I've got space to put in custom stuff as well. Um, but that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this demonstration of the uh, thank you page additional offers I think free members can use a one-time offer so if I wanted to set up a one-time offer um, I can just click yes and then choose and then format how I want the one-time offer to go I won't do that for this demonstration uh, use the installment plan if you got a big ticket item you know you can um, have an installment plan for three or four payments whatever but this is just a cheap ebook and then once you publish this at the integration setting page this is where you this is where you can find the page url so you can send you know use this to promote when once i've saved it and published this product i'll be able to get the order buttons here which i'll have to go and put on the uh, sales page okay so looks like we're ready to go I'm just gonna save it now okay I need the customer autoresponder um, so let's just click on no for right now but usually you know you would add your autoresponder there so you can collect the customers emails on your autoresponder so now it's saved uh, I just need to publish it go live and then I'll be able to get the order button alright so next make sure you get the order buttons after you publish Okay, you can choose anyone that you like. Um, I usually use the orange one here. So just copy the code there. Come back to your page settings. Put in the go, come to your um, sales letter here, and this is where we want to insert some HTML. Okay, we're going to have to go and look at the HTML. Don't get too freaked out here, but we want to find the bottom there where we have those spaces, which is just above this one. Warmest regards. So you can see that there's 
space right here. Uh, let's put in our button right there. Let's get rid of that. And uh, yeah, let's update that. What button should show? We want to have it in the center. And then <coughs> let's save that again. All right, and it will be ready to sell. Let's go and view the page. Okay, here we go. It's not pretty, but this is all you need to start selling in digital products. Okay, you've got the copy there. There's no pictures, but like I said, you can add pictures. You've got the guarantee, you've got our order button. Um, of course, you know, you want to fix up the text make sure it's all relevant okay like it says it's only 27.77 but the button says ten dollars try and keep it all uh all the same then on the checkout page okay it's got the uh image and um people can you know you can disable this coupon button uh, like i showed you in the general settings section and then people can come and click on the order button and they can head over to PayPal and when they go and pay okay they can pay directly to you and Zaxa will forward them to your download page where they can download your product and it's as easy as that that's how you can use Zaxa to run your digital product business. That was a very, very simplified version of how to set up a product on Zaxa. But bare minimum, you know, that was that was how all you need to get your product up ready for sale. And it took probably 30 minutes. And that's while I was talking and explaining things as you go along. So I hope you enjoyed that little Zaxa introduction and tutorial. Um, if you haven't signed up with Zaxa, go and sign up yet. If you're thinking about moving from another digital system over to Zaxa, I highly recommend that you do. And I'm sure you'll love it too. Alright, this is Stu Sterling. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.